I'm in a weird position, because if you'd come to me 10 years ago and said they were making a Wheel of Time set of movies and uh, television series, I would have been ecstatic. In fact, I've been looking forward to this all the way back to 2000 when I heard that NBC had optioned the rights to make it. And admittedly, that never happened, so we moved on and they resold the rights to Red Eagle Entertainment in 2004. And this never came into anything either. In fact, on the day they were going to lose the rights, they made a 22-minute pilot episode that was complete trash, showed it on TV, TV just so they could hold it for a bit longer. It was all a real crap show and it wasn't anything that we really want if you're a fan of the IP. And I really am. These are the books that I grew up on and I did deem them to be a complete monolith. In fact, they really are against the whole modern day narrative. They're just not compatible at all. The very themes of The Wheel of Time were that men and women were different but worked better together. In the Age of Legends, it was all about men and women cooperating, working together, and only if you were together can we actually create something which is better for everyone involved. And yes, in the books, the men are more powerful, the men are stronger, but the women have their own talents, and that's how, when you combine those different talents, you get to somewhere which is much improved from where you would have been alone. It doesn't really sound like a modern day narrative, does it? And that is what I'm worried about when I find out that you have stuff like this. Zack Stentz is going to pen a script for the Wheel of Time film adaptation. Yes, we've already got an, an Amazon uh, series coming out, but this will be a trilogy of prequels. And I say prequels, it's the Wheel of Time, so prequels are also sequels. Uh, it's literally a circle of time. What happened before will happen again. So it gets a bit complicated. But complicated really sums up what the Wheel of Time is. It's a very complex building. Of, and the foundations, the, the principles, the themes are what hold it all together. And so if you go and start changing the themes, if you take away themes such as men and women work better together or men are stronger than women, then you, the entire building is going to come crumbling down. And that's what I'm worried about for not just the Amazon series, but this as well. Now, in his statement, he does do pr uh, very well just for a short statement to the press. He says, I've been a fan of Robert Jordan's for many years, and, and it is especially his allusions to the origins and backstory of The Wheel of Time that I've always found most intriguing, which is weird. Because if you've got a crap load of books with deep, complex lore, and you're like, yeah, but you've said two words about this previous time, and that's what I really want to know about... Odd. I'm excited to be bringing this era Robert Jordan conceptualized to life. I'm dubious, because uh, if we go and look at his IBD, <laughs> in the past, you know, he wrote for Andromeda, Terminator, the Sarah Chronicles, and, the F and Fringe, all of which I was a fan of these series. I quite liked them back in 2009, so fair enough. Thor? Uh, Thor, Thor was average at best. I didn't like X-Men First Class. And after an eight-year gap for some reason, he's moved on to writing for The Flash and Jurassic World. <sighs> yes, The Flash isn't exactly renowned for quality, so that doesn't fill me with confidence. But I'm also concerned that people just don't grasp what the stories are about, or if they do grasp it, they don't care if they alter it for their own ends. And this goes back to the article. Now, this is literally just written by the articles themselves, but the framing of this is horrible. It says, Age of Legends will be set several millennia before the time of the books, and in a futuristic utopia powered by a magical force shared by men and women known as the One Power. When an unspeakable evil is unleashed upon the world and men using the one power become insane and destroy much of the planet, a small band of women unite under the White Tower on our humanity's last hope for survival. And this never happened. It didn't. That, as it is framed there, never happened. It's just a complete deliberate misinterpretation of the events. And this may get into spoilers. So if you don't want to know anything, fair enough. But this is basically a broad outline of just the general events that happened at the time. And yes, the Age of Legends was a futuristic utopia. It, they'd even solved war. No one could even remember it. The, the, the way of engaging in battle, uh, military strategy, all of this had gone. It had all long slipped out of memory. And when I say memory, these people could live up to 700 years. So memory was a long time. But then he says, an unspeakable evil is unleashed upon the world. It, it wasn't exactly unleashed. It was an accident. 
and and men using the one power became become insane and destroy much of the planet what it's not telling you there is that the reason why the men went insane is because the men were the ones that saved the planet the men went and actually tried to seal up the dark one and it was because they attacked him and they sealed the boar and the dark one as his last counterstroke attacked the men and he tainted their side of the one power this is what made them go uh, insane and harm other people and not just them it was also their descendants any man for the rest of time which actually could uh, interact with the one power was now going to go mad but they didn't all go mad at the same time and this wasn't like oh it was unleashed and men just started going insane no they went insane because it was their burden they took on that burden because they saved the world it was sacrificial they sacrifice the men sacrificed themselves for the women they sacrificed themselves for the women and the children and the planet trying to make out that the, the men are some kind of oh they just went insane and destroyed the planet no there's a lot more backstory there these people were heroes and they didn't just all go insane instantly at the same time about 68 of the first 100 people went insane instantly but the rest went insane over time all the people in the world that were men that could touch the one power they went insane over time this wasn't a small band of women uniting to save the planet no the men helped as well the men helped the women because they knew what was going to happen these are people which knew they were going to die they knew they were going to go insane and they used their last days to continue trying to preserve the world as much as they could they, none of this was their fault none of this were intended but they these people sacrificed themselves and sacrificed their last days to protect the women and this is not a story of a small number of women fighting against the evil men trying to save the world. That's never been what the story is about. The central theme is that men and women work together. And so if you take this story, this story of sacrifice, if you take this story of protection, if you take what was by any definition a brave act by the men involved and start instead trying to make it about women, then really all you're doing is make it like that famous quote that really women are the victim of war because while the men die, the women have to remain and suffer. Because that's what happened here. The men went away to war. The men went away to sacrifice themselves to save the world. And the women stayed and protected everyone back at home this is not an opportunity to do your men bad narrative it wasn't the story men in this were the heroes men in this were the sacrificial people that went and thought they were going to die they didn't know the effects of what was going to happen they didn't know that he would be able to do that and taint the entire source but really if it came down to it do you think that they wouldn't have sacrificed themselves to save the world anyway I'm hoping that this guy, if he's a real fan, will know that that is the events, that knows he shouldn't do that. But honestly, with what the way actors have been talking, the way Hollywood has been talking in the movies that they put out recently, if I had to say which was going to be more likely, would it be the actual story, which is in the books, in the law, that men were the ones that sacrificed themselves, that men and women work better together? They're only combined. Although men are stronger, women have their own talents. And when you combine the two, you are greater than the sum of your parts. Or do I think that they're going to do the, what this article says? That men are just basically evil. They went insane, destroyed the planet, and only women can save the world from the evil, evil men. Then really, if I had to put money on it, I'd say that unfortunately, the latter is just far more likely. Well, that's it for me. If you like the video, press like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Let me know what you thought down below. Do you think this guy will stick to the law or instead inject his own Hollywood ideology into it? Interested to find out your opinions, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, bye bye.